But you never think to see this prim and proper pretty little blue-eyed thing You know that I'm a lady and I'm that easy to get Hi, this is Kimberly Michelle with the Real Single Ladies of Houston representing Southern 7 Entertainment. Today we have Wendy Taylor who goes by the Songbird. Tell me a little bit about that. Why do they call you the Songbird? I'm on an internet forum called Kingwood Underground where I keep up with a bunch of my... Kingwood? King yes. You're Kingwood gangster? No. There's some thugs out no, there. No, I'm not, oh, I'm not from Kingwood. I'm from way more country than that. You, oh, you okay. gotta drive to see cows before you get out of my neighborhood. Gangster. So. <laughs> I'm on, this, uh, I'm on this, this site and I get on there and I'm just kind of like, okay, well a lot of these people are already friends of mine. And I'm trying to come up with a screen name. You know, I don't, I've never had a nickname. I just, you know, I am me and that's it. Come out, Wendy Taylor. If you don't like it, then whatever. But uh, I asked them, I'm just kind of like, okay, I need a screen name. And they, they started giving me a whole bunch of ideas and mm -hmm. they came up with a whole bunch of stuff. And they were like, well, what about Songbird? So I started a poll. Okay. And then everybody started calling me Songbird. It's kind of stuck ever since. Okay, well, that's awesome. You know, I had a chance today to actually go and listen to your Hold Me Down. So I definitely agree with them on the song. <laughs> Your ex girl can sing. Oh my goodness! I don't know what you're talking about. That was. Oh my goodness! I had to look again. I, I hired that. somebody. It's I'm like Millie Vanilli. That was you. So tell me about hold me down. Who is somebody holding you down? Hold or did somebody down. hold you down to make you write no, 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 a song? No. So what? Because what, no. you know we can hold me out down. So tell me about well, it. the whole thing about hold me down was, you know, as, especially as an independent woman, you know, when right. you're, you're trying to go out and you're doing everything and, mm. and you're multitasking like crazy, oh, no. you know, when you're you're looking for a partner in life, you need somebody to that can actually tell you, you know, slow down, stop, you know, take a minute, breathe, mm. get off the train, slow down. So I need someone to hold me down, mm. you know. So I don't need someone standing behind me. I don't need someone next to me. I don't need someone pushing me. I've got enough ambition to fill up the room. Someone to keep you, you know, grounded. But hold me down. Yeah. So that's that's where the whole thing came from. I like that, yeah. Wendy. I'm feeling that. So what are you working on now? What am I working on now? I'm working on climbing Mount Everest. I'm training very hard. That really. is cool. Not really. <laughs> but no. I'm, <laughs> I'm working on putting together a, a pretty large stage production show. It's going to be very visual, okay. and um, it would be uh, my my goal is to, with my fans and everything, I've got I've got some of the most loyal fans in my fan base that I could ever ask for, and um, they're phenomenal. Love you guys, love you. Um, but I'm I'm working on putting together a show that is all encompassing. I don't want to go out there and just sing and have everybody go crazy over just the music. I right. want it to be visually inspired. I want to, you know, their senses to be on overload, right. crazy. Where where they would pay just to see the show. Mm -hmm. So people will come just to see the show, let alone get hit with the music. And once the music hits and if they're feeling it, fantastic. But I might help them. But <laughs> promote, promote. <laughs> so. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm working on putting together a full stage production, backup dancers, full band, lighting. I mean, the whole thing is going to be, you know, I think uh, Cirque du Soleil, Lady hey. Gaga, Cirque, uh, Cabaret, burlesque style type stuff. So it'll be very visual, very fun, and right. the music should speak for itself. So, okay. But I want to give them everything. That sounds so exciting. Like, I'm really interested in it. Yeah. I really can't wait to come, especially the uh, burlesque part that you had me yeah, in. Who burlesque. doesn't want to see me naked? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm you know, kidding. I look, I look good with clothes on. I think I'm covered in scales. I see that naked. Okay, so I want to ask you about, you know, your type of music. You know, is it R&B? Is it jazz? Is it pop? I mean, you know is what? it all this? A gumbo? A gu <laughs> what is it? It is a gumbo. It's a gumbo. Like that. It's it's a, it's a smorgasbord, even. A little birdie told me that you had yeah. a, a new um, sexy little tattoo. and uh, it's not I want to know about it. My sister and I, um, my sister and I have been talking about getting matching tattoos for a long time. I love ink, gentlemen. Um, uh, <laughs> Um, I love ink, and um, my sister and I have been talking about getting this tattoo. We wanted something that, that represented both of us, mm -hmm. but we could still have our own individuality with it and everything. Mm -hmm. my, my big sister, is uh, she's kind of my hero. Uh, when I was 15, she was, she was 16, I was 14 at the time. April Fool's Day, I'll never forget this. Oh, she got wow. in a very bad car accident. Mm -hmm. Didn't think she was going to come out of it. She was in a coma for a long time. She broke her, both of her hips. She ended up with a serious brain injury and a whole bunch of other stuff. And this girl that went through all of this graduated on time six in her class wow she she was supposed to be a vegetable the rest of her life so she's she's really a huge inspiration for me and if she can do it she can live through that right. then anything is possible so um 
we definitely, the, one of the symbols in my life that's really important to me is the phoenix. It's mm -hmm. about being reborn from the ashes. You, you spend your life getting burned and, and everything right. else and being reborn from those ashes again, just as beautiful as you were before, maybe right. even better. Obviously smarter, wiser, and, right. and more productive. Right. Um, things went faster. So she and I went and we got, uh, obviously I'm Celtic. I don't know if you can tell by the red hair, the freckles, and the, the glow in the dark skin. I didn't notice. Um, but we we ended up getting a uh, we ended up getting a Celtic sister knot, which is the only thing that that is actually encompassing both of our tattoos together, and it's purple. Mm -hmm. And then I got uh, the phoenix, and it's like this big <laughs> on my lower back um, that tied into one of my other tattoos. And she ended up getting the Celtic sister knot with wings going across her back and flames coming up off of it. It's really really awesome. cool. Yeah, it was fun. And I'm glad that you were able to connect and, and find strength through that, that tribulation, you it's know? The same thank you, thing you can do. Thank you so much for sharing. I, I really oh, love you and I can't you. wait to see you. <laughs> Make sure we check out Wendy Taylor at Midtown Lounge on January 14th. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you.